the industry losing nearly a billion dollars in sales this year because of the pandemic. But there are some bright spots. Take a look at these. Michter's Distillery says its overall sales are up more than 30 percent this year as it pivoted to e-commerce and curbside delivery, helping it avoid furloughing any of its employees. For more, I'm joined by Joe Magliocco. He is the president of Michter's Distillery and founder of Chatham Imports. Joe, it's great to have you. I mean, is that right? You're you're up 30 percent this year? Yeah, actually, we're up 36 percent. And thank you so much for having me on, Kelly. Uh, yeah, I mean, our, our team uh, in Louisville and our sales team really pivoted and did a great job this year. And I think a lot of other people in the industry have done a great job this year as well. I, I honestly can never remember nearly as challenging a year. Uh, it's been devastating. I mean, craft distillers have furloughed 43% of their people. Uh, the American Distilling Institute did a survey and um, uh, uh, something like uh, two thirds of craft distillers expected that they couldn't keep going another uh, six months unless things improved a lot. So uh, it's been a tough year, and especially for the on-premise sector in the in our industry, we talk about the on-premise channel, which is restaurants, bars, hotels, um, and uh, it, it's just been devastating for our friends that we've been calling on for years in that area. Um, you know, Nielsen tracks certain restaurants and bars, and the restaurants and bars that they track, um, the, the business fell off a cliff between February and March this year, it was down over 80%. And quite honestly, that doesn't right. surprise us because we've seen um, a tremendous loss. Uh, our, our distributors and importers uh, that we speak to have lost 80% of their business uh, on premise as well. But how do we go from being down 80% on premise to you guys being up 36% on the year? I mean, is that how much people are drinking at home? <laughs> uh, no, well, I mean, look, people are people generally are drinking more at home. Um, but uh, it, it is not enough uh, to, to make up for the tremendous loss. I mean, we've had all these amazing restaurants, amazing hotels close. Um, uh, you know, online uh, has really been an area that we've concentrated on this year. Uh, you know, we're not a huge company. We never had an e-commerce manager until this year. Well, we, we suddenly had an e-commerce manager. We suddenly had an e-commerce team. Um, and, uh, you know, when you look at uh, online sales, um, according to IWSR, International Spirits and Wine Registry, um, uh, online sales are up about 42 percent in the countries they track this year. And, you know, specific uh, accounts, you know, uh, Wally is one of the great retailers in the United States uh, based in Los Angeles. They're up over 300 percent this year. You know, uh, we concentrated on making our stuff more available through uh, e-commerce platforms like Amazon, like Drizzly. Drizzly was up 350 percent this year. Yeah. Um, and a lot of others. Yeah. Yeah, I learned about Drizzly. Uh, we, you're right. I mean, these have been huge platforms, and thank God for it, because otherwise your business would have been devastated. So what does 2021 yes. look like then in this kind of pivot and transition year? I know you guys also were able to avoid, there was a huge uh, excise tax, tax that was supposed to go up Jan 1. That's off the Correct. table, right? Yeah, yes, fortunately. And that, 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 that is really wonderful news to smaller distillers. Um, you know, it, it, the tax level varies at different levels of production, but under 100,000 proof gallons, which is uh, where a lot of small distillers are, um, uh, uh, the tax was set to go up effective January 1, it was going to go up uh, it was gonna go up 400%. Um, and so that would have been really devastating to these uh, uh, smaller distillers that were already hurt very badly. Um, but um, look, we're very hopeful about the vaccine. We're hopeful about, uh, uh, you know, uh, things improving. And, 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 you know, business yeah. coming back to one normal. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.